Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm watching another Doctor Who episode. Um, series 4 is amazing so far, really liking it. Um, every episode has been good, there's not really been one bad episode. Um, the weakest one I still think is the one with the Ood, but even that was a good episode really. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to... I mean, there probably has to be a bad one at some point, you would think. Um, so I hope we're not going to get to that now, because I'm really enjoying this, and I just want it to keep going. Um, but yeah, really enjoying this series. Um, David Tennant's as good as ever. Don has obviously um, surprised me a lot. Um, so this episode is called Silence in the Library. Um, which is interesting. Um, let's, I don't know what to make of that. Um, are we going to be in a library? Are we going to be silent in a library? Um, I guess so. Let's get into this episode and see what happens. Go to the library now. Oh, uh, uh, Colin Salmon. Are you back, Beth? Yeah. Good actor. The same part. Library. No, no, please, let's out. Let's out. Listen to me. Is this like... The library... Is in is this like mind. in Sherlock, is this her mind palace? <laughs> oh god, of course. If we stop here for a bit. Oh, the Doctor and Donna are in her mind palace. I'm gonna call it a mind palace, because that reminded me of Sherlock a little bit. Oh yeah. 51st century. By now you got all 51st century. Are we going to see Jack? <laughs> this show seems to have a fascination with the 50, 50 with the 51st century, if I can say it. So big it is This must be biographies! I love biographies. Yeah. I like biographies. Autobiographies though. Only autobiographies. I think the last one I read was um Gary Barlow's autobiography. Gotta love a bit of Gary Barlow. And silence in the library. But there's no one here. There's just books. And it's not the books, is it? I mean, it can't be the books, can it? Books, books are alive. Can't be alive. It's Harry Potter. <laughs> the books are alive. Welcome. Fine, 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 just play it. Message follows. Count the shadows. For God's sake, remember, if you want to live, count the shadows. Message ends. Hmm. What do you think? Break on break on you can! Cry for help. With well, I swear the last time somebody oh, sent a message on the psychic paper, it was the face of Bo, who we now know is Jack. And we're in the 51st century. Please give me Jack. I can't do wood. It doesn't do wood. Hang on, hang on. We can vibrate. Doesn't do wood. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, well, Donna does wood. Security camera. Can you hear me? Are you alright? So she's the security camera. Others are coming. Who's coming? Who are the others? The library is breached. Others are coming. What others? Others. Oh dear. Are coming. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Hello, sweetie. Get out. Doctor. All of you, turn around, get back oh. in your rocket and fly away. Oh, they're just people. To... A little bit anticlimactic. Who is this? 
You said we were the only expedition. I paid for exclusives. Uh, uh, Steve Pemberton, right? Find a nice bright spot and just stand. If you understand me, look very, very scared. Have you done that yet? Obviously ringing no bells. Right, um... Oh, picnic at Asgard. Have we done Asgard yet? Asgard? A four crossover? Obviously not. Look at you. <gasps> You're young. I'm really not, you know. No, but you are. So, she knows him. I. He doesn't know her. So is this gonna be somebody who he knows in the future? In in his future? confusing myself here. Sorry, you're not allowed to see inside the book. It's against the rules. What rules? Your rules. I don't want to see everyone in this room dead because some idiot thinks his pride is more important. Then why don't you sign his contract? <laughs> I didn't either. I'm getting worse than you. This is a data extract that came with a message. 4,022 saved. No survivors. 4,022, that's the exact number of people who were in the library when the planet was sealed. But how can 4,022 people have been saved if there were no survivors? Hmm. Yeah, good question. We need to find out. Don't go wandering off! Probably not gonna have a happy ending. Why not just listen to the doctor? He's trying to help you. <coughs> oh, God. Oh! Everybody careful, stay in the light. Oh! So, no, no, that's the point. Who screamed? Miss Evangelista. Where is she? Oh. Please state your current. Can't see. I can't. I don't know what I'm thinking. She's a footprint on the beach. And the tide's coming in. Where's that woman? Don't know. I. 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 Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream? Ice cream. Hmm. Okay. Does anybody mind if I... I want you to remember is this, and I know it's hard. The real world is a lie. The real world is a lie, it's just the Matrix? Out in there, people who need to be saved. The shadows are moving again. Those people are depending on you. Only you can save them. Only you. Oh my god, what's going on? I do know the doctor, but in the future, his personal future. So why don't you know me? Where am I in the future? Okay, got a line. I am so, so sorry. 
mean, you've got two shadows. It's what is that? Hunt. They lack Does this mean he's done for? Source and keep it fresh. What do I do? You stay absolutely still, like there's a wasp in the room. Like there's a million wasps. We're not no, don't stay still with wasps. That's the worst tactic. Yeah, but we're safe anyway. How are we safe? We're not. That was a clever lie to shut you up. Professor! Anything I can do with a suit? What good are the damn suits? <laughs> Miss Evangelista was wearing a suit. There was nothing left. We can increase the mesh. It's a screwdriver. Sonic? Yeah, I know. Snap. With the... What the? I, I look round, one shadow. Have she just been lost in cyberspace? Doctor, don't. Dave, can you hear me? Hey, who turned out the lights? Leave Docky alone. Who turned out the lights? Oh, yeah, no, you don't. Hey, who turned out the lights? Yes. Hey, the wall behind you. Oh! Yes! Yes! Jack had one of those! Donna Noble has been saved. Sweetie? She's gone! She's not there. I should have received a signal. The console signals me there's a teleport breach. Well, maybe the coordinates <coughs> have slipped. The equipment is ancient. Donna Noble! There's a Donna Noble somewhere in this library. Do you have the software to locate her position? Donna Noble has left the library. Oh. Donna Noble has been saved. Oh. Oh. Donna Noble has left. Donna Noble has been saved. Oh. Oh. Donna Noble has left the library. Hey, who turned out the lights? Is that the it for her? Donna Noble has been saved. Hey, who turned out the lights? Is that her Donna Noble has left the library. Oh. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess the pacing of that kind of made it obvious that was going to be a two-parter, but... Is that it for Donna? I don't know, maybe, like... So this, um... This character who knows the Doctor, River, I think she said her name was. When she was talking to Donna, she said that she does know the Doctor in his personal future and Donna said where am I and she didn't get time to answer but I think they're almost hinting at like she was gonna die that's why she's not around and is that what we've just seen is Donna now dead I mean if she is then and fair play to her because I liked that character more than I thought I would um, <clears throat> but it would make sense if she was dead, because they seem to have introduced this river as to be, like, the next companion. Because she knows the Doctor in his personal future. So, I guess she wouldn't join the Doctor, this version of her wouldn't join the Doctor, because she knows the Doctor. Her younger self knows the future Doctor self, I guess, so... If Donna has died, then I guess maybe at some point the Doctor's going to go back and meet young River and take her along as the companion. So it makes sense, I guess, if this if they were writing Donna out. It's all very confusing. <laughs> I mean, if that, is, if, if that is the end of Donna, then that is quite sad, because she was actually doing a very good job this series. But um, at the same time... From what I've seen of this river, I quite like her as well, so, you know. <clears throat> and it's, it's always nice to mix things up a bit. Um, so, that, that, was, that was just one bit of the, the sort of mind fuck of that episode. <laughs> like, it was, there was always hints at some sort of, like, matrix. Like, initially I was thinking, like, Sherlock with this girl sort of having, like, a mind palace, but... 
now that Colin Salmon, Doctor Moon, as he's called, um, seems to be like hinting like that the world they're in is like a simulation, like the Matrix, and the library, people in the library are in the real world, or something like that. I don't know. He's an interesting character, this Doctor Moon, though. And the girl that he's talking to. It's hard to know what's going on with this. I mean, this was a pretty good episode, even even if it was just trying to run away from shadows that are going to eat your flesh. I mean, that's, that was probably an interesting enough concept as it was. Um, but yeah, throw all of this into it. This is just... It's just a mindfuck. I mean... This river as well, is she going to be with the Doctor for quite some time? Because he's going to trust her with his, his sonic screwdriver? Like, Rose never, like, well, I mean, she, she got trusted to use it. She never got trusted to have her own sonic screwdriver, did she? I mean... <sighs> I, I, there's the... Wow. There was so much in that episode. Great episode. I'm, I was only playing on watching one episode, but I'm going to have to watch the next one now. <laughs> I need to know what happens. Oh my god. Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, if you want to see the uncut reaction, you can on my Patreon. The link's in the description. You can also see we've got some advanced reactions on there. Um, and yeah, I will see you all soon with the next video. <laughs> Bye.